This time yesterday, we were talking about the possibility of severe weather in Central Florida, and it wasn't too long after our show ended that the National Weather Service issued multiple tornado warnings. It was a tense morning, and this morning the National Weather Service will be on the ground getting a look at more damage caused by at least three likely tornadoes across the Central Florida region. News 6's Brianna Bowles is here with a look at what the storms left behind. I mean, we're just seeing some of this stuff. Yeah, Bridget, like you said, there were definitely some tense moments yesterday, but the good news is there are no reports of major injuries. But Sky 6 did fly over some badly damaged buildings and downed trees in Marion County. And check out these pictures from the Highway Patrol. Troopers say the same tornado caused a portable building to go flying off the back of a semi on I-75 just south of Ocala. Some of the debris even hit a pickup truck. The Weather Service says an EF-0 twister is to blame. The focus will now be on surveying the damage in Seminole and Volusia counties. New 6 was on the ground along West Waltz Avenue in Deland yesterday as cleanup was just beginning. One family says the storm woke them up as a large oak tree came crashing down just feet away from them. And here's video of a tornado as it moved through Seminole County. Cell phone videos from New 6 viewers show the storm moving from Longwood, Longwood all the way to Sanford. County officials say no serious damage has been reported. And once again, amazingly, there are no reports of serious injuries from any of the storms. Now, of course, anytime we have severe weather like this, we will have live updates pinpointing the risk to you and your neighborhood, both on air and on ClickOrlando.com. And I know Steve just gave him the round of applause, but our pinpoint accurate weather team did an outstanding job yesterday. So we got to give it to them one more time.